Yay. Another yow yow. That's a way to start. Hello. It is time for some Genshin Impact. And I, I just decided to start here. It was calm here. Other places, not so much, because I've been doing a lot of outside stuff. You know, like ley lines, all that stuff, yeah. All right, so to start off, I wanna go over this achievement that I had gotten. So I was doing some of the daily commissions and one of them was Hear Timmy's Story. Dear Dad, holy crap, this was sad. But basically, Timmy's dad died. That's all you need to know. He went on an adventure to try and provide for his son because he was so static about being a dad and then got fatal wounds. And nobody has had the guts to tell him. So he just keeps waiting for his dad to come home and wants to send him a letter and whatnot, or letters. And no one will tell the kid, sorry, he's gone. And one day they're gonna rip off that Band-Aid and wow, that's gonna be a mission, I bet. Still, you need to, you need to let your kids be in the know because you may think that you are protecting them. They're gonna resent you one day. Okay, enough of that. Also, I have enough fates to make plenty of wishes. But, wait, wrong button. I am going to wait until the next round because Thea is supposed to come out and I think I'm gonna try for her. So yeah, that's where we're at with that. I'm going over a lot of stuff because it's, it's been a little bit since I played. Basically, I wrapped up the Lantern Rite Festival, and that was about it. So here, we have 12 hours remaining on Warrior Spirit. If this is what I think it is, I don't think I want to take part. Now that you've been unexpectedly challenged to fight, it's time to pick up your blade and face your foes. Do I really want to do this? You and Paimon are having a stroll across the... Biako plain, I think that's how you say it, intending to enjoy some hard come by peace and quiet. But you come across an unexpected conflict nonetheless. We'll see how long this takes. This might be half episode stuff or stuff that I just do and I don't say anything about it normally. I decided to wait since I was recording to even bother addressing it myself. Hey, do you hear that? Sounds like someone's arguing over there. The doc Let's go see what's happening. Tadaaki. Is that how you say his name? It looks like it was Tadaaki. After all these years, Senpai, I was hoping it would never come Tadasune. to settling this with real swords. This. Cut out that weak sounding nonsense. Come on. Is this an actual it's between episode? you and me, there can be only one victor. None of you are named Victor. I know, why can't they step over to the grass? Else is here. Hey, get away from here, you two! Yeah, we're disciples of the Kono Ito art and are about to settle things with a duel. We don't want anyone getting in the way, especially outsiders like you who know nothing of the sword arts. Thing excuse me? Oh, come on now. And also, you get out of the road if you don't want anybody in the way. Road. Yes, exactly, what Paimon. Thank you. Know nothing of the sword arts. When it comes to wielding a sword, the traveler here is super strong. Yeah, I'll beat you without using my electricity. So, you're just another person looking to steal our chance to compete. No, but I'll do it anyway. In case, we'd better team up and deal with this outsider first. What say you, senpai? Sounds like a plan to me. These guys are weird. Here, I'm just gonna use a sword. This single chance belongs to the Kono Ito art. Yeah. Allow me. Just strike first. Nope. Show you couldn't do it. Uh oh. Got. Oh, you actually hit me that time. Yeah. Yeah. 
I like the sound of the swords clanging. Or clanging. Ah, uh, yeah, miss. You drop anything? No, you don't. Watch your step. Yeah. Show me what you've got. They're so slow at moving, it's easy. Wait, do I heal up? I think I heal up with the sword. Move, Fox. I don't want to hurt you. Talk to the two people. I don't know why they had to do it so close to the road. I really don't, Mr. Fox. Okay. <sighs> you finally got them to stop. Hey, you two! This is all just a big misunderstanding. We're just passing through here. We didn't want to steal anything. Yeah. What's with all this about a chance to compete? <sighs> oh, senpai. How could this happen? This youngster completely overwhelmed us with only a few moves. Actually, Aether is older than both of you. I thought this would be our chance to show the power of the Kono Ito art to the world. Who knew we would be defeated before we even set foot in the arena? I don't think I want to see this arena, actually. Uh, no need to say anymore. What happened here only proves that we're out of our depth. <sighs> Master did always tell us that no matter how strong you may become, there is always someone stronger. But we didn't listen. As for this entry ticket, I'm afraid that no matter which of us use it, the results would be the same. Ah, uh, they were fighting over the ticket. Wait, what are you two mumbling about? You guys were at each other's throats just a moment ago. They are fighting for the ticket, Paimon. I'm sorry for the misunderstanding. We're but they're dumb to do it on the road. The Kono Ito art. Just now, we were about to duel to see who would enter the Warrior Spirit Sword Fighting Exhibition. This competition is very important to any practitioner of the sword arts, and since we rarely see anyone pass through here, we mistook you for a competitor trying to steal our entry ticket. <sighs> Again, I apologize. Yeah, you better. Now that that's been cleared up, you may continue your duel. Uh, uh, just a moment, please. If it wasn't for you, I would have never realized my own inadequacy. Right. Our fight just now was a real eye-opener. I know now that I must further cultivate both my mind and my swordsmanship. So really an eye-opener? I felt more like a I have an idea. Why don't we give the entry ticket to him? I thought they were already going to do that. Fine by me. Only a real swordsman is qualified to stand in the warrior spirit arena. We still require more training. Get and go train. You mean you want the traveler to compete instead of you? I'll do it. Isn't this a little sudden, but we don't know anything about the competition. It's up to you if you want to join. Either well, way, do it. this entry ticket is useless to us now. I bet it is. We bid you two farewell. Okay then, bye. Bye. I said bye. Okay, they're finally leaving. And there they go, just like that. Ugh. So what do we do about this entry ticket they left us? Check out what it's all about. Here. Maybe do the hokey pokey. Warrior Spirit Sword Fighting Competition, hosted by the Ashiro Commission. Hmm. Since it's being held by the Ashiro Commission, why don't we go to the Kamisato Estate and ask about it? Yeah, I guess we could do that. We only have 12 hours to get this all done. Are you freaking kidding me? Somebody busy with another quest before we can even do this. There's always somebody blocking. Hold on, is there a quick start? No, there's not a quick start option. Which makes me think this is not episode worthy stuff. The commission's commission. Where's the commission's commission at? There's the commission's commission. Why do I have to do the commission's commission? Commission, 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 commission. And settle before it. Um, inside. Yeah. This is just somebody telling me how to do requests. Go ahead. Oh, uh, I gotta read it though. Honored guest, a moment, if you please. I trust that you are the traveler who Miss Kamisato has previously spoken of. She talks about me. Indeed, I am. And please, forgive my intrusion. I am Madarami. Whoa, 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 whoa. No auto, no auto, no auto. Ah, I missed the whole thing that was said there. 
I've heard tell of your great deeds, and Miss Kamisato thinks extremely highly of you. No doubt you are one of the great one of great honor and worthy of our trust. I have long since wished for the pleasure of making your acquaintance. Unfortunately, I have been unable to extricate yeah, extricate myself from my duties recently. Too kind, too kind. On the contrary, it is you who are too modest. Even the Yashiro Commissioner Kamisato Ayato himself has mentioned you before. He too believes that you are worthy of our trust. I actually haven't met him yet, personally. I've only met Ayaka. I'll get to the point. Since the Yashiro Commission oversees worship at the shrine, we often have the occasion to hear about people's earnest ambitions. Miss Kamisato, being, being as kind and thoughtful as she is, convinced the Yashiro Commissioner to allocate resources to help people realize their ambitions. After some deliberation, he decided to establish a public commission system as the means of achieving this. I am the one he assigned to organize it. The remuneration is more than ample, but the problem is that there are too many commissions and not enough people to handle them. If you were willing to lend your assistance, that would be wonderful. Look, dude, I have been to four different cities with a different board of one of these in each. And I've maybe fulfilled one request out of all of them. I'll do it more in the future. It's just currently I haven't done it like at all because there's a lot to do. So telling me this now, not the best of things. Instead, it's just kind of blocking something I'm trying to do. If you're unable to, if you are unable to start right away, that's no problem. You can simply find me in a few days' time when your schedule is freer. Um, can you give me like two months? I have compiled the details of the commissions that we've received so far. If you wish, if you wish to take a closer look. Okay, so we've explored at least twenty percent of Inazuma. That's sad. Only twenty percent. Inazuma quests. Uh. Claim all. What do we get here? Ooh, a recipe. What's the recipe? Conda cuisine. I don't know what conda is. All right. I guess that's going to be it for this part. If you ever have time, have the time and the desire, we would be most grateful indeed for your help. If all goes well, you will not only be well compensated, but your reputation in Inazuma will be enhanced. Of course, even one such as yourself cannot become a local legend overnight. As with many things in life, you will need to start from something small and work your way up. Specifically, this means that your reputation builds up. The commissions you will have access to will grow in complexity. Consider it a gauge of the level of the trust that people here place in you. Please give it some thought. It goes without saying that I'd be thrilled if you were willing to help. Or help out. I will leave you to think it over. Um, give me one second. Boom, boom, boom. One meter. Traveler, Paimon, good to see you. He talks Unfortunately, himself now. Unfortunately, both the commissioner and Miss Yay. Kamisato are out on business for the day. They are not here at the estate. Oh, we're not here to see them today. Actually, we were hoping to ask about the Warrior Spirit Sword Fighting Exhibition. You know, the event being hosted by the Yashiro Commission. Ah, so the Traveler wants to enter the competition too. I'm terribly sorry, but we were flooded with applicants, and all the entry tickets were already issued last week. I got week. a ticket. But if you want tickets Call to me the Charlie final Bucket. exhibition match, I'll see what I can do. Perhaps I can get you some. Oh, no, no. Let us explain. We were able to get our hands on an entry ticket today, but we haven't decided whether or not to participate. We wanted to get some info about it first. From the sound of it, this competition is really popular. Indeed. Warrior's Spirit is a competition with a rich history in Inazuma. Not only is it a good opportunity for martial artists to test their strength, but it is also a form of honor. 
The almighty shogun hopes to use this opportunity to spread the elegance of the art of the sword to more people. The upcoming competition has introduced many new formats to appeal to a wide variety of spectators. Traveler, since you already have an entry ticket, you should enter the competition. Should I really it though? It's a rare opportunity after all. Okay, I'll consider it. But we have other things to do. By the way, given you've only heard about the competition today, you probably don't know yet, but Miss Kamisato just... Just what? Why hesitate when faced with such a great opportunity? If you're not honored to be a part of Warrior Spirit, there's no need for you to hold on to that entry ticket. Is he going to fight me for there it? There are plenty of others who are eager to enter. Are you going to fight me for it? What are you saying, Hirotatsu? That's not how we speak to our guests. Uh-huh. I don't mean any insult, Matarami. No, you did. On the contrary, I would love to see the Traveler in action. Everyone here has heard of you. Even Miss Kamisato thinks highly of you. I always assumed you'd be someone we'd all look up to. But now it seems everything we heard were nothing more than rumors. Oh no, Paimon. You lack spirit. And as for your swordsmanship, well, I'm sure it's mediocre at best. Just say you want to fight. Otherwise, you wouldn't hesitate even for a second about joining the competition. I got a lot to do, fam. Hey, come on, Hirotatsu. The Traveler isn't from a martial family. Besides, spirit and swordsmanship can also be displayed other ways besides competitions. Like saving an Azuma. Jerk. Come down, Paimon. I'm already used to it. But this Hirotatsu guy doesn't even know you! How can he say that you lack spirit and ability? Oh, that's it! Paimon's mad now! I thought you were already mad. He deserves an ugly nickname! Like, um... Like... Oh! Not the sharpest samurai! You can run your mouth all you like, but this isn't something that can be proven with words. I, Hiratatsu, am a true warrior and don't need to go around bragging to make a name for myself. We don't either. We I'll just go make our name. Now. So you're not going to fight me for the ticket? Uh, I apologize about Hiratatsu. He's the type of person that tends to just say whatever comes to his mind. He can make diamonds out of coal just by shoving it up his, uh-huh. How it seems. No worries. I'll see what you'll see what I'm made of. Does that mean you're entering the competition? I guess I am. Great! Paimon approves! Show not the sharpest samurai that you're the real deal! The competition starts on Rito in two days. I didn't get a chance to tell you just I need now, to do it today. But Miss Kamisato left for Rito today to discuss competition matters with Miss Hiragi Chisato. Oh, really? In that case, let's go meet Ayaka and Rito! We can ask her for more details about the competition! Hold on. I wonder... No... Huh? Do I know Rito? I'm just clicking through everyone right now. Yeah, there. I don't think there's anybody left from in the room over here. Tactics, I'm always ready. Please shut up, Edo. I have to know Rito, right? Wait, wait, wait. Character archive. Let's see. Can I spot them here? Are they actually available as a playable character? I don't think so, actually. Rito, Rito, Rito. Wait, was she the girl that we helped out with the letter initially? And then I forgot about it? Until I was blocked from being able to get anything done until I delivered the letter? You know what? That's what it is. I thought it sounded very familiar. Partially because Rito is also the name of the bird creatures in The Legend of Zelda. Ayaka! Chisato! Traveler Paimon! Oh, yeah, I thought I said Rito. Nice to see you again. 
Igarashi. Ito. I'm confused by names. Actually, we've decided to enter the Warrior Spirit Sword Fighting Exhibition. Maybe. We heard you two were making preparations on Rito, so we thought we'd come and Rito is the place! Oh my gosh, I'm an idiot. What a coincidence. We just finished talking about the Archon's Emissary and whether the Traveler would be interested in the yeah, exhibition. Yeah, Shisato is who I'm thinking it was. Rito is the name of the place, and I'm stupid. Uh, what's that? Oh, you've never heard of it? Didn't you come rushing back to Inazuma because of Miss Ayaka's letter? Miss Ayaka sent a letter? Letter? What letter? Uh, never mind that now. Paimon, you were asking about the Archon's Emissary? Wait, did you not send us a letter? Yeah, what's that? The Archon's Emissary has a special responsibility in the Warrior Spirit event. However, it's hard to describe without touching on the origins of this event. Well, then touch on it. Warrior spirit originated from Freezing. ancient Inazuman legends. It is said that a long time ago, the martial artist who was crowned champion would be granted the special honor of meeting and engaging in a sword duel with the Almighty Shogun. However, mm. the Almighty Shogun was far more powerful than any human being. Mm -hmm. In a direct confrontation, the duel would be over in an instant. Mm -hmm. Therefore... The Almighty Shogun would send one of her familiars as an emissary to the martial artist. That's who would dangerous. then provide assistance and protection in the fight against the Shogun. That's really freaking dangerous. Because the Almighty Shogun decided to convey her skills and the will to protect the citizens of Inazuma through the form of martial arts, the duel was then aptly named Warrior Spirit. Later, the event evolved into a competition that focused on the art of swordsmanship, and the tradition of a duel with the divine has been retained as the final exhibition match of the competition. This final match allows later generations to understand the origin of warrior spirit and the meaning of martial arts. What about the meaning of Christmas? Oh, sounds like a pretty important event. Yes. Nowadays, the Almighty Shogun won't attend the exhibition match in person, but she will still send a special envoy to fight on her behalf to display her divine strength. You know who Evito? Of course, the role of the martial artist goes to the winner of the competition, and the divine familiar will be fulfilled by a true swordsman, a role also known as the Archon's Emissary. This time, I will be fulfilling the role of the Archon's Emissary. Ah! Oh, so that's what this But you're not a familiar. About. Competition is so popular now. After all, Ayaka is popular among the citizens of Inazuma. And with us, too. Paimon's right. Though the Shirasaki Himegimi attends some festival ceremonies from time to time, it's not often that we get to see her excellent swordsmanship up close. The Almighty Shogun said that this time we need to host a competition aimed at the public and recruit a powerful ambassador to promote it. With that in mind, Ayaka was appointed as the Archon's emissary. Oh, and by the way, this is Onodera from Yai Publishing House. He specializes in organizing events and was sent to assist us. He was the one who suggested that Ayaka be the Archon's emissary. In addition, he proposed two strategies to increase the popularity of the competition, expanding the target audience and increasing word of mouth. His ideas have been most effective. Wow, those ideas sound pretty professional, but, uh... What do they actually mean? <laughs> well, expanding the target audience means getting more people involved in the competition. Mm -hmm. Previously, competitors were required to be practitioners of one of Inazuma's schools of swordsmanship. However, this time, the requirements are different. Anyone who has a passion for martial arts can participate, regardless of nationality or status. So but I feel like we're the influence for that. have similarly been adjusted. Weapons are no longer limited to one-handed swords. Any close-range weapon that meets the length and weight requirements can be used. As for increasing word of mouth, in my personal experience, the most effective method is to hold a vote. A votes? That's right. In the past, it was the Almighty Shogun who decided what the Archon's emissary would wear in the exhibition match. But this time, with support from the Almighty Shogun, we'll be giving that choice to the audience. People Wait, Ayaka's gonna be in one of the something four different? Seasonal styles such as cherry blossoms or autumn leaves. Miss Kamisato will wear whichever outfit receives the most votes. Are we getting a Although Ayaka voting outfit? won't begin until the day of the competition, I need an Ayaka. my retainers have already been speculating on which theme will win. These plans are only possible because Miss Kamisato agreed to be the Archon's emissary. I know this must be a lot of pressure for you, Miss Kamisato. No, not at all. 
It's an honor for me to have an opportunity to promote the sword arts. If anything, it's your dedication to the event that everyone will appreciate. That doesn't mean it's not pressure, though. You flatter me, Miss Kamisato. <clears throat> now then, I must get back to preparing some final details regarding the vote. So please, excuse me. You're excused. Traveler Paimon, now that you're here, Miss Chisato and I can show you around the competition venue. Sounds good. That'd be great! Let's go! Oh, you had a real jerk at your place. Just thought I'd let you know. Wait, where are we going? Ah, further in its home. Unexpected battle. Is that the name of the whole mission, or is that just about what we're about to have now is an unexpected battle? Well, we did start with an unexpected battle. And in... Wait, this is the arena? This is a building! That doesn't look like it has an arena in it. Whoa! Now this is an arena! Oh, yeah, it's definitely an arena. I no idea the Outlander Affairs Agency would have a place like this! This is the indoor training area for the Kanjo Commission. It's thanks to Miss Chisato that we were able to use this venue. You're very welcome, Miss Hayaka. I'm only happy I could help. Yo, when you get married... Oh, Chisato, what's that over there? I thought Chisato's whole thing was being oh, a Romeo yeah? and Juliet story. Well, it's... Where they survive. <clears throat> Traveler, do you have a moment to talk? Oh, of course. Hmm. Where should I begin? Maybe start by explaining the letter. What was that about? Ah, uh, yes. That. Nothing slips by you. Apparently, except for a letter. Honest, I felt a little apprehensive when I first heard that everyone wanted me to be the Archon's emissary. I've been making public appearances ever since I was a child, but this is the first time I've ever acted as the ambassador for such an event. Not to mention wearing an extravagant outfit while participating in combat. In the past, only the most skilled swordsmen of a reputable clan in Inazuma were qualified to be the Archon's emissary. I'm afraid my skills can't even begin to compare to theirs. I was worried that I might not be up to the task, so I wanted to write to you and ask for your advice at that time. We're friends. You can have my advice anytime. I'd be happy to help however I can. Yes, I know. But that's probably why I didn't send the letter in the end. I knew you didn't send it! You've helped me many times before, and you've always lent me your ear when I speak about my troubles. But if I'm always turning to you for help, it almost feels like you're somehow besting me. What? <laughs> Is it strange for a friend to think that way? Yes. But I understand how Thank you feel. You. I was really delighted to learn that you also entered the competition. It was by chance. Hey, Ayaka! Uh huh? What were you two chatting about? Things! I was just saying that it's delightful to have the Traveler join the competition. Given his reputation in Inazuma, the competition is sure to be even more exciting. <laughs> yep! Having the Traveler join will definitely heat things up a little. Paimon's right! I look forward to seeing you perform. After having a look around, the two of you leave the arena. Two of us, I mean, Aether and Paimon? It's getting late and Miss Chisato and I must return now. The two of you should have a good rest for the next couple days. I'll see you on the day of the competition. Okay. Thanks, you two. Will do. See you on the day of the competition. See you on the day of the competition. Because apparently we just reiterate what was already told to us. At least if we go by Paimon standards. All right. One day. Two days. I don't know how far into this day we have to go. I didn't bother to read the thing. Go time. Go time. Tick on. Tick on. All right, so, uh, oh, we just go straight into it. Oh, look! There's Ayaka and Chisato! Ah, Traveler Paimon, you made it. We did. Did you rest well yesterday? 
Uh, actually, I just stood here the whole entire time until time caught up to us. Yes, I did. Thanks. That's the traveler, composed as always. Is he really? It's important to keep a good mood before a competition. We're in it to win it. No matter how Looks you like spin you it. You all are in good spirits today. Everything should be set to go for the opening match. Yay. Speaking of which, are these two boxes for voting? That's right. I've arranged everything. The box on the left contains the ballots for Warrior Spirit, while the box on the right is for the other events. The results will be revealed in the third round of the competition. And given how strong the Traveler is, you're practically guaranteed to make the third round, right? I would think so. Mr. Onodera, we'll start with the box for Warrior Spirit then. All right. Thank you. Things are about to start soon. Let's head to the arena. Okay. Good luck, Traveler. I hope you'll do well in the competition. I hope I do well too. Well, Miss Ayaka and I should go watch the matches. See you later. Okay, bye. All right, unexpected battle com quest completes. So. Fleet Challenge 2, the Warrior's Spirit Sword Fighting Duel. Alright. Ibuki. Go to challenge. Complete a duel with Ibuki on normal difficulty, on hard difficulty. Complete the duel with Ibuki on hard difficulty with its 75 seconds. Duel with Ibuki on pro difficulty. If I just go straight pro, will I be okay? View rules. Watch out for your opponent's consecutive strikes and adjust your combat movements accordingly. Conduct parries at the right time to defeat your opponent more easily. Uh, enter a special defensive state upon being hit. A perfect parry will be triggered that deals counter damage, counter attack damage to the opponent. This state will be removed after triggering three perfect parries or having lasted for 15 minutes. How do you parry? <laughs> I went like eight meters. Start. I want to see like a crowd of people cheering around the arena. I don't want to just be like the arena. Okay. Each of the warriors you face has a different set of sword techniques, including ordinary techniques that they will use often and exceedingly powerful, but less often use ultimate technique. You can check your opponent's traits via the menu to better devise countermeasures to make sure it is easy to emerge victorious. You will be unable to use elemental skills or bursts during these duels, but you will obtain new abilities, a parry, and hone techniques. When using parry, you will raise your weapon in an offensive stance, greatly decreasing damage taken. Parry is subject to cooldown before it can be used again. So parry isn't that strong of a dude? You'll use different hone techniques to deal with different opponents. Hitting opponents with normal and charge attacks and performing parries successfully will help you accumulate spirit, which can also accumulate slowly over time. Parries will successfully help you accumulate spirit, which will you also accumulate slowly over time. That feels like a redundancy. Once it finishes accumulating, you can uh, active, actively use hone techniques. Use up to two, up to two uses of such techniques can be accumulated. If you get the timing right and parry just as your opponent is striking, you can completely eliminate any damage that would be done to you and will reset parry's CD. Parry's got CDs? Like burn discs? Oh boy. Completely, uh, completing such a perfect parry against your opponent's normal techniques will cause you to accumulate more spirit. When each warrior is about to use their ultimate technique, their weapon will shine brightly. Perfect parries, perfect, perfectly parry these techniques to unleash powerful counterattacks and accumulate large amounts of spirit. Then use your hone techniques at the right moments to seize victory. I think regardless, I should start with normal. Do I even get a chance to pick? Enter a special defensive state upon being hit. A perfect parry will be triggered that deals counter damage to the opponent. This state will be removed after triggering three perfect parries. Yeah, we've been over that. 
Uh, Reina, let's begin. Let's let's start with just normal, because I don't know how this is gonna go. Are we gonna be fighting like normal, or is it gonna be like a whole different structure to how we battle? Okay, that's how you parry E. Ooh, I like that. I want parrying to be like regular game stuff. Oh, I was slow on that. Oh, it takes a while to parry. I wasn't ready to parry yet. That was the problem. Crap, I messed up. I need to learn the timing on the parrying. All right, return to the arena. I like parrying. I would be cool with that being regular game stuff. All right, I want to try that on the harder difficulty. Are ready for the competition? Okay, let's begin. All right, we got to get under 75 in order to... Oops, wrong button. Dang, I am off. Hmm. Nice hit. Dang, timing was off again. That's what it does when you use Q before you parry. Within the time. I want to hit exit for now because I think there's more mission to do. I don't want to just be stuck doing this the whole entire time. Especially if I'm supposed to be doing other things. Let me look at this. All right. Boom. So I still got to do it on pro. Hiro Tatsu. Is this the guy who was running his mouth? I feel like it might be. All right. I got to do the second challenge before I can do this part. So let's go ahead and do the second challenge. Start. I didn't even bother reading the information on boot. I probably should have. Let's begin. Normal difficulty. Yeah, I kind of feel like this should be half episode stuff, but who cares? Can I say something or can we just get to fighting? I see. He charges up a while before he attacks. Wait, I definitely parried well there. It did not even register it. At least the first thing we have to do is just... Too early again. Gosh, I can't get the timing down on those swings. I don't want to use the Q yet until I understand him better. There we go. Come on, swing again. Got him. All right, I started to understand him at the end there. Let's try a hard mode, and then I'll back out and do the next part of the story that's apparently waiting for us after we do the second challenge. Because this is the second challenge. Okay, let's begin. Hard difficulty, please. Dang. Too early. 
I'm too early on this. Too often. Come on, I gotta get this done in the amount of time that's required of me. Nope. Still too early. Okay, that was on point. You're not counting me for what I'm worth. I'm used to it, though. There we go. That was a good hit. Oh, uh, we're close to running out of time. Come on, I need you to do more. That was too early? Oh, you're kidding. Oh my gosh. It takes so long to attack. I didn't get complete this one extra quest. I could have just sat there with it. Are you kidding? Can I try that again? I want to do that again. I didn't know you could just sit there with it. I thought you had to hit it with perfect timing. So my two earlies was a stupid thing to have happened. Let me try this again. I'm not doing pro until I get this done right. Okay, that one didn't work. Plus, I was off. Gosh. Why do you keep moving to the side like that? Okay, there is still a too early. That did, this is not working. I thought I picked up some knowledge there at the end. It's still not working. There we go. There we go. I don't think we're going to get this done in time, though. One, two, three. A full three seconds. I went a little bit, bit early there. Oh, my gosh. I so totally blocked him there. You need to stop stepping out of the way of attacking me. That's the problem. Also, there's a light that gives away when he's doing his attack. Let me try it one more time. I'm freaking mad about that. I thought I had it, and then it turned out that you kind of just gave it, gave it to me when you weren't supposed to last time. Let's try this one more time. Okay, let's begin. I even did that one second slower than the first time. That's stupid. It was not registering those. Mm, perfect timing. That's what I'm talking about. Yo, can you sack me? I need more damage to be done. That happens when I parry you. And there we go. 42 seconds. That's what I needed. It took forever to do that last attack. But I will take it. Today's the third day of the competition. Voting results for Ayaka's outfit should be ready, right? Let's check the bulletin board in Inazuma City. Paimon wonders which outfit theme won. <laughs> Where do we check? Um. Go to quest. That's a ways away. I thought that was supposed to be here. Also, let me get my rewards before we move on. Boom. Warrior Spirit Duel. Take this, take this, and that. Okay, so yeah, I can't even get to this until I finish this next part of the quest. Alright. So, map. You know what? I think this counts as regular episode stuff. I'm kind of happy I did this. 
in the last 12 hours it was available. Yeah, I put it off. But then again, I didn't know the quality of this, whether it was going to be half episode worthy or if it was going to be full episode worthy or not. Oh, is there an full episode worthy? What's going on over here? Uh, I hope I didn't just take a whole bunch of damage. Come on, you can easily oh, float about people. I didn't expect the votes to differ by that much. I thought for sure that Masako would win, given that warrior spirit is a competition unique to Inazuma. Just as I predicted. After all, the case files of Miss Orith is a recent bestseller. Not only is the story interesting, but the book's illustrations of Fontaine outfits are also really unique. Besides, don't you think that Miss Orith's character is a good fit for Miss Kamisato? Well, Miss Orth is fiercely competitive, but loves to play pranks on others, which is nearly the complete opposite of Miss Kamisato. <laughs> However, it'll be interesting to see Miss Kamisato in a Fontaine outfit. Huh? What are you talking about? Uh, Paimon's kind of confused. We're also outsiders, so that might be the reason why. Oh, look! There are some options for the outfits! Pretty please Kitsune Guji? The case files of Miss Orth? Uh, hold on. Didn't they say the choices were gonna be between the four seasons of Inazuma? When did they switch to cosplay outfits from light novels? Maybe something went wrong with the poll? Paimon thinks we need to find out what happened. Come on, let's find our Aka at the Yashiro Commission. Alright. Let's go say hi to Ayaka and ask what happened. Looks like she got something to talk about. I'm terribly sorry. I was the one who mixed up the two voting boxes. By the time Mr. Onodera came back from his business trip, the results had already been announced. <sighs> In an effort to keep things confidential, we specifically didn't mark the ballots with the title of the poll. I regret that decision now that everything's gone mixed up. No way! Something did go wrong with the outfit voting! Traveler Paimon... It seems you've also heard about the results. Yeah, and we're not the only ones. It felt like everyone we saw on the way here was talking about it. What are you going to do? Miss Kamisato, we're the ones responsible for this blunder. I'll go reorganize a vote right now and we'll set things straight. Please wait, Onodera. There might be yet another solution. The poll error is something that only the competition organizers are aware of. The public didn't seem to notice anything wrong with the ballots. Moreover, there were no complaints when people thought that outfits from popular works would make an appearance in the exhibition match. On the contrary, everyone seemed to think it was a special surprise. Since our goal was to generate interest in the competition, the consequences of this mistake shouldn't be viewed as a blunder. As an opportunity? Wait, Ayaka, so do you mean that- You're gonna cosplay? Yes. I think we should just make the best of this mistake. In the final exhibition match, I'll simply wear whichever outfit accumulated the most votes. Yes, but that will make things difficult for you, Miss Kamisato. Unlike outfits tailored for martial arts, the outfits from the novels aren't designed for combat. It won't be a problem. The Fontaine-style dress from the novel shouldn't be too heavy, so it won't affect my abilities. I'll try to get used to it, even if it's quite different than something I'm accustomed to wearing. Wow. Ayaka is speaking calmly, but Paimon can still feel her courage. All right, I understand. In that case, we'll proceed with Miss Kamisato's proposal. The outfit we prepare for the reader's meet and greet will be tailored and adjusted according to Miss Kamisato's figure. We'll ensure that the outfit is completely ready for the exhibition match. Thank you. It's a lot to handle, but I'm sure you can manage. So, what do we do? Ayaka, will you really be okay wearing some character's cosplay in the exhibition match? You're not pushing yourself because we're here, are you? No, please don't worry. I actually feel relaxed and even a little joyful at the moment. How come? Before, 
The thought of wearing a fancy dress on the stage of the exhibition match had me worried. I was concerned about whether I would be presentable enough to meet the audience's expectations. However, if I'm wearing the same clothes as a fictional character, then it shouldn't be too big of an issue. The detective in the novel is known for being mischievous and doing things her own way. So let's see, break apart, break away, do your own thing. Will be able to experience be something new not. in a traditional form. So that's why Aka is thinking. And that's not all. Deep down, I've always been looking forward to the day I could wear something different from what I normally do. Traveler, not long after we met, I remember you mentioning that Liu, Mondstadt, and every nation has their own unique fashion. Mm -hmm. At that time, I couldn't imagine that one day I would be able to experience all these foreign places. But now, all those wishes that were once impossible don't seem so far out of reach. Besides, my mother was always curious about outfits from other countries when she was alive. This time, I will be able to fulfill my mother's dream. Thinking about it that way, this special outfit can indeed be called a surprise. Huh. In that case, this whole accident with the vote turned out to be a good thing. <laughs> well, now that this is all settled, let's get ready and go to the arena. Yes, I know you will do great, Traveler. Onadera and I will also head to the arena to watch your fight once we've confirmed my outfit's measurements. So that's that for that part. I guess we just head back and do more. Wait. Easier way to do this. Events. We're a spirit. Oh, we're fighting him next. New strikes is quick in quick succession to accelerate the filling up of your opponent's fury meter. Fill up your opponent's fury meter before they use their ultimate technique. Use a strategy to gain the control over the combat. I don't see how that's supposed to help me. Teleport. Straight there. Prepare for the duel. And start. All right, and can we get started, Rena? Normal difficulty start. It's an interesting outfit you got there, and weapon boot from Sumeru. Your journey ends here. No, I don't. Ooh, owie. Actually, didn't hurt too bad. It was just the fact that it kind of caught me off guard. Wasn't ready. I don't know the best parry times. Gotta learn him, 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 gotta learn him. That should have works. There we go. That works. Wait, wait, wait. I just hit the Q and it just bursts. Wait, what? Was his attack still going and I was still parrying? I just upped how much strength the parry was? Or did my special ability change? Not really sure Your what happened there. Ends here. Hmm, that wasn't the damage, but that's about the extent of it. Ow. I definitely parried there. Hmm. There we go. Oh, use Q as they're attacking, and that will be the ultimate parry. That's the best way to do it. Okay, okay, okay. I'm learning. Too early. Ooh. 
Come on. Hit me with another one. Hit me with another one. I'm ready for you. Please, before time runs out. Or do I just need to be up on him for that to work? I don't know. I'm guessing when you go outside, you see the next person that's supposed to pop up that you're supposed to battle. And my guess is I probably got to battle one more person, and so we have to do the next quest part before we have to... Oh, you yeah, know, he's still there. Wait, does he talk? Oh, it's you. I didn't think I would lose to a young man with scrawny arms and legs, but you're a real fighter, so it was an honorable loss. <laughs> Will you stick around in Inazuma? What? Just because I lost doesn't mean I can't stay here. Well, to tell you the truth, I've been waiting these last two days for the next cargo ship that my brothers are on to come take me home. If I'd known I'd be out in the third round, I wouldn't have asked for so many days off and not made any money. Fortunately, I won two games before, and I still have a few pennies left after I got the money to last me the next few days. All right. Well, I can at least collect the spoils of our battle and then go on to the next one. And I'll battle you one more time in the pro, but all these pro fights will be happening after the fact. Totomaru? Wait, is this the dog that's in the tea house? Why are we fighting a pup? I don't want to fight a dog. Parry his attacks with all of your might and use hone techniques at the right time to knock him down. Once Tarumaru is knocked down, the damage he takes will be increased. Perform a powerful strike that deals a considerable amount of physical damage to the opponent nearby. Oh, okay. So it's not a parry thing anymore. That's why I did so much damage to the guy. I didn't have to wait for him. I could have just taken him down last time. Tarumaru, let's get to fighting. Normal. Let's go. I'm not cool with this. He's so cute. Hi, Pupper. Oh, he got big. It's really on my part. Okay, this all got skills. This might be the one with the hardest. This one might be the hardest one to fight. Oh, I feel bad. He was just a sitting dog right there. I'd say duck, but obviously it's not a duck, is it all? Okay. I guess that works. Still feel bad about fighting a dog. Next, a hard fight against the dog. Tarumaru, let's fight. Ow. Mm. Sorry, Tarumaru. But you know I gotta win. I don't think I can parry the electric attacks. I might, but I don't think I can. Oh my gosh. Got 
Got him. And in less time, too. Look at us go. All right. So is the next quest ready or do I got to do one more and then we go talk to Ayaka one more time? Yeah, we have to do five before that. Such a cute puppy fighting. Oh, gosh. Katsuki Seiman Jusu. I think that's how you say it. This is going to be Ayaka. All right, let's go fight one more person before the next part. Ready for the competition? Okay, let's begin. Normal start. So big and intimidating. Right. Pull out your sword. Oh. Too early. Mm. Oh, I like that. Oh. was nice by comparison to everything else. I swear, the Q ability has only gotten better and better and better. I guess it's called the Fury. No, it's not the Fury attack. Ultimate. Yeah, this seems to work. Okay, let's begin. I want to get to my ultimate again. That was nice. What's one more? Dude, you losing. I'd really rather not. Owie! This is an my His movements are too big. We don't register well. That should have been a parry. Where is he? I can't see him. You're exposed. I think you are. I think I'm going to run out of time. Let's get both tasks done. Ooh, there we go. Nope, we got it done in time. I'm disappointed by that because I thought I had him down, but I guess I didn't. Your skills are superb. I've been thoroughly bested. It was an honor to fight against you. Ladies and gentlemen, after an exhilarating battle, the champion for the Warrior Spirit Sword Fighting Exhibition has been decided. Give it up for the Traveler! Woo! I can't hear you guys. Tomorrow, we will conduct the final only five people here. match. The Traveler and Miss Kamisato versus the Almighty Shogun's chosen envoy. An autonomous humanoid known as the Magu Kengo. We'll see you then. <sighs> that was a most thrilling match, Traveler. Congratulations, Traveler. You've certainly earned your title as the champion. Kind of had no idea that tomorrow's opponent would be the Magu Kengo. That name sounds similar to that troublesome one we encountered on Yashiori Island. Oh, Paimon doesn't think it'll be an easy fight. Don't worry, Paimon. The Shogun's chosen envoy may be strong, but tomorrow's match doesn't prohibit the use of visions. 
will make a formidable team. As long as we can track its moves, an opportunity to strike back will present itself. Oh, hearing your confidence sure makes my mom feel better. I cannot guarantee that we will win, but we must try our best. If just to give the crowd a show, they will not forget. We can win, Ayaka. I can tell you two are already raring to go, but it'd be best to conserve your energy and get some rest tonight. We'll also be able to see Ayaka's new outfit when we wake up tomorrow. Ayaka in a Fontaine dress. Oh, Paimon can't wait! Ah, uh, yes. Oh, well... Now she's nervous. You want me to pick you up in the morning? <laughs> Sounds like there's no way around it, Miss Ayaka. Oh, if I wasn't busy tomorrow, I would have loved to come see as well. Ah, I suppose it's settled then. I'll wait for you at the Kamisato Estate tomorrow morning. All right, well, um, wait until 5 to 12 the next day. Two, three, four. That works. Don't want to wait too long. Cause if I wait too long. Three, two. Yeah, I know, I know. I'm heading over. You don't want to say anything. I want. Wait. Where's she at? Oh, I never collected this. Because it went straight into a cutscene after we got out of there. Go to quest. Navigates. Over this way. Isn't that the dude that said that we don't have honor? Ah, you're finally here. Ugh, it's Hiratatsu. The traveler already beat you a few days ago and won the championship. What else do you have to say? No, he did sound nicer when he said, Oh, you're here. Don't worry. I'm not here to cause trouble. I just wanted to apologize. Traveler, I lost to you fair and square a few days ago. Yes, you did. Your swordsmanship is excellent. Each strike was precise, but not aggressive, which speaks to your character. I ask your forgiveness for misjudging you and offending you with my words and actions. Mm, that's okay, it didn't bother me. The two of you must be here to pick up Miss Kamisato. Yeah. She's in the dressing room right now and should be out soon. Traveler? Before the young lady comes out, I have a bit of a presumptuous request that I hope you can consider. Mm, sure, what is it? Although the young lady has never mentioned today's exhibition match to us retainers, she has spared a few hours every evening to practice her swordsmanship, despite how busy she is. The young lady has always been diligent and conscientious, although it's just... You're not going to ask me to lose on match, purpose, are you? And it won't matter if she loses... I trust that she will do her best to win. As a retainer, okay. I do believe in her, of course. But uh, I still hope you can support the young lady in the arena and ensure her safety. Don't worry, I will. You think I would have hurt her? I leave the young lady in your hands. They're capable hands. Oh, that must be Ayaka! I don't like the hat. matter? Why are you two so silent? Is there something wrong with the outfit? Yeah, the hat is trash. Ayaka, you look amazing. You're radiating beauty. Yeah, you're a radiator. Uh, this look really suits you. It's a per it's a beautiful outfit and it suits you perfectly. Just look at it. It even has the crest of the Kamisato clan embroidered on it. Yes. 
Onadera had someone from the family make it over the last few days. I heard it was based on suggestions that the spectators had written on the ballots. The outfit is well tailored, and offers more freedom of movement than I had expected. Paimon can't wait to see the look on everyone's faces when they see Ayaka! Thank you for the compliments, Paimon. Traveler? <sighs> now that we're ready, let's head to the arena. Okay. My lady, Traveler, I wish you all the best in the exhibition match. Thank you. To the arena we go. Huh, there's a lot more people out here. Uh, prepare for the duel. Complete warrior spirits on. It's not done? Hold up, hold up, hold up. What I gotta do now? I gotta talk to somebody around here? Hey, really? Miss Kamisato really? Traveler have arrived. I just had to take two steps and it would trigger. Although I've seen illustrations of this outfit before, seeing Miss Kamisato wear it truly brings some unique flair. Oh, it was worth lining up super early to get front row seats. I'm really looking forward to today's match. <laughs> Ayaka became the center of attention the moment she appeared. Ladies and gentlemen, your attention, please. The Warrior Spirit Exhibition match is about to begin. Please enter the arena in an orderly fashion and take your seats. Okay. Miss Kamisato, Traveler, please come with me. Are you ready, Traveler? I'm ready. Let's go. Good. Let's give it our best. I look forward to fighting beside you. So are we fighting each other or someone else? What be this head, though? <laughs> oh, we find like normal of this. Overwhelming presence. Certainly worthy of being the Almighty Shogun's chosen envoy. But with you by my side, we will emerge victorious. Let's go. Yeah. Yeah. Uh. Are we? Ow. My apologies. Sakura swirl. Lightning flash. Howie. And we won. I was going to read what that said, but then I didn't. I didn't get to do it in time. Traveler! Ayaka! We're over here! And we won! Are you proud of us? That was an extraordinary match! <sighs> I don't know much about swordsmanship, but even I was caught up in the tense atmosphere of the arena. My heart's still pounding even now. Your opponent's moves kept surprising Paimon, but it seems like the two of you were prepared for that. Yes, because Traveler, Miss Kamisato. Kudosara. Congratulations on winning the exhibition match. Thank you. Hey, it's Sara. You came to watch the competition too? I was ordered by the Almighty Shogun to observe this competition. You two displayed remarkable swordsmanship and cooperation. 
Not only did you present the beauty of the sword arts to the audience, I was also able to learn quite a bit myself. I'm flattered. All of you have been busy with various preparations for the competition. Today marks a perfect ending to this warrior spirit event. Your efforts have been recognized by the almighty Shogun. I must return to the Tenshukaku and report on what happened at the exhibition match to the almighty Shogun. Everyone, please excuse me. Is that all she came out here for? By the way, does everyone have plans now? If not, why don't we go to Uyu Restaurant for a victory meal? Sure, I guess we could. Great idea! I'm on especially happy so about eating. We've been focused on the competition lately that it's been a while since we've had a good meal. Let's go! Paimon says, yay, food! Because that's Paimon's personality. <sighs> What's wrong, Ayaka? Uh, oh, it's nothing. The effects of winning are only now starting to sink in. Kujo Sara said that she learned a lot from the fight, and so did I. Although the audience members might not have noticed, there were many moments where I would have been in trouble if it weren't for you by my side, drawing away the opponent's attack. Aw, oh, shucks. Without you, it would have been impossible for me to win on my own. It's just as I expected. My swordsmanship is still far from your level. Ayaka, you've helped me many times as well. Let's just say she's been too modest because she's only really helped us like once or twice. Really? Hearing you say that makes me want to spar with you all of a sudden. To tell you the truth, I've been hoping for an opportunity to spar with you ever since we first met. That wish was half fulfilled today at the exhibition match. We fought together, not against each other. Next time, we'll find a chance to go a few rounds. Sure. But until then, make sure you take good care of your sword. If I ever manage to steal it one day, your life will also be in my hands. Oh, it's no problem. I got plenty of backups. <laughs> I've always wanted to say something like that. Did it sound strange? It was cute. Hey, what's the hold up here? What are you talking about? The adults are talking, Paimon. Go away. <laughs> we were just talking about having a match to determine which of us is the superior sword fighter. Wow. You are so serious when it comes to swordsmanship. But aren't you friends with the Traveler? Why do you need a match? It's precisely because we're friends that we should spar often and learn from each other. Yeah, let's go with that. Oh! Guess that kind of makes sense. My monster doesn't get it. Traveler, keep all I just said a secret? Will do, Miss Ayaka. Doesn't, don't worry about it. Nothing. Let's get going. If she heard that it was a secret, why is she trying to get more information about it? Wait, are we done done? Um. That wasn't fighting it on normal difficulty? On. Okay, faster. Enter a special attacking state. Upon using normal or charge attacks, the blade will unleash uh, will be unleashed that deals physical damage to the opponent. <sighs> Why is he yawning while running? Let's do normal and hard of this, and then I'll end things off. And then you just fight this like normal. Too early. The after image keeps getting me. Ow. Ah. 
I do not understand his attacks. Those attacks are really nice. I like those attacks a lot. Gosh, I do not understand the timing of his attacks. I did not like how I did in that fight. So let's go on and do the hard. Are you ready for the competition? Okay, let's begin. Let's go hard mode. None of those counted as a parry. Can you parry those types of slashes? Oh, I parried that, but it didn't count it. Hmm, let's go. I'll be doing all the pro fights off screen. You already see me do the battles. You don't need to see more. Uh, not too much more. Come on, a little bit more, a little bit more. I gotta parry you one more time. No, actually, I don't need to parry. I got it done just in time. Whew. That had me a little worried. Not gonna lie. But. Officially, you can say, I've completed it. Everything except for the pro mashes, which, like I said, I will do that off screen. And also, I noticed the battle pass had an exclamation point on it. Just give me all that. I hit the max on the battle pass! I might just have to to bust out 10 bucks and get all the extra stuff. I'll do that off screen because you guys should not be seeing my card information, obviously. But yeah, I normally don't get it because I'm like, it's not worth it if I don't get everything to which I got everything. I got it all. Now let's claim it all. Uh, please select your award. goodies. Ooh. I'm going to grab this just because I don't have enough stuff for magicians. Yeah. I got a lot of goodies here. Wait, do all those just go into my inventory? Or do I actually have to go accept all of them? I think I have to go back into the battle pass and accept all of them before they disappear. So yeah, I'll write down what I need and then I'll go get them. Also... While we're here, I'm definitely getting a five star when the wishes refill because I'm not doing it now, like I said before. So let's go somewhere cooler. Yeah, let's go over here. It's not cooler, but it's probably better. So that'll be it for this one. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, doses.
Mask, so I wrote it in the rhyme. The Reverend Doctor got an 8K, wet working. The roaches get the race spray. My weak rhyme, my body, your best verses on game day. I touch the crowns of self entitled kings. You leave the heat like LeBron when I melt your idols, vital things. This is Malcolm and Martin, Million Man March and Sparta, mixed with a legion of angels surrounding sons and daughters. Simon Peter with a desert eagle.